Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, RV extraordinaire, excited to be here today to share with you New Camp RV here in Sugar Creek, Ohio. If you have any more questions on these campers or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, you ask your Paul, the Air Force guy, but let's get on to this tour. Now here at New Camp RV, from the time that you walk through the door and then get back out into the plant, you see they have the, a first class operation here. You're gonna notice they have a line specifically for, for the Tab 400, for your Tab 320s, for the tags, and of course, Sears Truck Camper, and the latest is the Avea that they're working on. Hopefully that thing will be coming out in March. But uh, let me show you, give you a better inside look to this um, operation. So everything starts with where they bring all the materials into the plant. So everything comes into this particular area and then it is distributed accordingly. All the different molds that go on the trailer are put and stocked individually, as you can see, in their own little bins, making it very easy for them to locate them. So as you can see, they stock everything on the shelves quite nicely, everything's marked. And then if there's any assembly process that they need, they have the workbenches here to put, put them together. So the nice thing up on the mezzanine here that they have is they have situated little workstations to do the individual electric plumbing and so forth for each particular unit. And as you can see, this is the electrical part. And you can see that all the wiring is on the spools. And the tables are directly on the other side. And they go ahead, they'll get a diagram and they will go ahead and make them for each specific unit, whether it be the tab, 400, 320, the tag, truck campers, whatever. And everything then is put into a bin and it's marked with a, a number correlating to the uh, product that they're making. As you can see here are some finished, completed uh, electrical systems for some units. As you can see, they're in the bins and ready to go down to be installed on the campers. And this could be the plumbing area where they'll go ahead and put together the tubes and everything for the units. They'll put everything together and again, then it is put into a bin and sent down to the main floor. All the plumbing supplies are put nice and neatly organized in different bins right next to where they'll be assembling them. And they're able to come just grab them and bring them over to install for the campers. Next, this is where they build all the cabinets. Build those up here. I'm gonna show you a little bit later where they stain them. They actually have a facility down below where they're actually doing the staining. And this gives you a better look at their fit and finish. These are for some of the drawers for the units. You see how they're dovetailed. So here you're sitting looking at some panels. These are for some uh, cabinet door panels ready to be prepped for the unit. And as you can see, looking through here, this is where they do a lot of the cabinet work. And then they're able to place them in the bins to go down below. Again, just wanted to give you a close look at, these are some um, cabinet uh, door panels. And again, look at the fit and finish on these and how quite and neat 
you know, they really do take care of these things to make sure that they're not getting damaged prior to them being installed. So this room here, this is where they do all the staining. So it's a very well ventilated area and well lit for them to be able to go ahead and see what they're working on. You know, when you're working with this high gloss finishes and these the finishes that they're using in these campers, it is imperative to have the ventilation system that you have. Otherwise, you will have um, particles and so forth getting in the materials as you're painting them. So this one is very well set up, and that's the reason why they could bring you such a high quality uh, product. So as you can see, that is an area where they'll be doing their staining or painting or whatever. And that all that lighting and the ventilation ensures that you get a proper coating and you're not missing anything. Then of course, as you can see, once they're painted or stained, then they have the rack system to put the pieces on so they can properly dry. Lastly, for the things that need to be, they have this big um, oven, if you want to call it, so that they can bake the finish onto the wood. And that's ventilated as well. So once they have the cabinet door uh, put together, then what they're going to be doing is putting the hardware on them, and that is all done right here. Now for those of you that have the clamshell, they actually have a tab clamshell area for putting together what is needed back in the clamshell. It's all right in here. They have all the hardware and so forth. That is where they put the cabinets and drawers and stuff together for that area. Something you notice throughout this uh, plant is the fact that the positive statements everywhere. So as things are completed, what they're done, they're, they're staged here close to where they're going to be dropped down below so that they can be installed on the different campers. On this particular line here, as you can see, this is a drop going for the tag line. So now this is the staging area for the tab 320s and where they put the uh, cabinets together and so forth. Stage everything right here. Now this particular one here, they have an actual elevator that they're able to put everything on and then they're able to drop that down below so they can install it on the units as they're put together. In this particular area, this is going to be the workshop for the Tab 400s. And then as they are completed, as you can see, then they are going to be dropped down below so they can be installed for the Tab 400s. Now for your truck camper line, this is where they're build, putting together some of the parts here. You're going to have the walls coming up here. You have do, uh, door panels. So this is where they're going to be doing their truck camper sidewalls. They're going to be putting them together. One thing I want to point out on the sidewalls is, of course, you have your exterior fiberglass, and that is adhered to this is Asdale versus the, some of the competition out there they're using Luon. With Asdale, you don't have the risk of having a delam uh, have delamination in the sidewall. They're also using, this is an Asdale interior panel for the, for the inside. So again, from a moisture standpoint, it's not going to be absorbing any moisture or any water. So in this section, this is where they're going to be going ahead and putting the windows and the doors and so forth on it. And then they'll be putting the decals. And then you say, well, Paul, how do they get these things to go down below? Well, you see they have the overhead. And they go ahead and they clamp onto those. They'll bring them across to the um, truck camper line where they're able to drop them down and install them on the camper. Now they also have 
the roof and the rear panels that are up here. And again, I want to point out to you that nine times out of ten, you're going to have Luan on both sides. So you're going to have it on the roof on the on the, the top side as well as the interior. Although that looks like it's Luan, it's not. That is actually an Asdale uh, composite. Again, so it doesn't absorb moisture. Now, there are times that where they might have run out of that where they had to use a Luan panel for the interior, but nine times out of ten, they don't. So the roof panels, what they're doing is they're putting, they're putting the speakers, the wiring, the lighting, everything in them up here. Now, you're also going to notice that they put wood in the ends of it. Now, the benefit of that is that when they're screwing that to the sidewall, it has something to bite. So this is where they test out their speakers, their TVs and so forth, the 12 volt TVs, that's all done right up here. Making sure that it works prior to being installed. This is also where they do some of the trim work for the truck campers and so forth. You see the wood, you can see how they, once the cabinets are stained and so forth, they're putting them nice and neatly on this cart and then they're able to be put together as the cabinets. Once that is done then of course it's going to be lowered to the truck camper line. See so this is all the finished cabinets that are up here. You see how they come in in pieces and then they're put together. Now we'll get down on the line, but this is where they're, they're dropping it, they're able to grab them and get them installed. Now as you can see, they, for every aisle where they have things working, what they have is they have an, a center section where they're able to load the materials needed for the assembly line. So that way they're, they're not interrupting the assembly line. So you can see on both sides of this truck camper line, they have, have a, uh, things lined up along the ends here and they're all loaded on the opposite side other than the things that are dropped down below here. And they do that for each of these lines. So for the Tab 400, for the Tab 320, for the Tag, your truck camper is going to be the Avea. All that is done and makes it much more uh, simplified. So looking at the truck camper here, as you see, you can see that the, the roof material there that is that, now they're going to be putting the, the additional uh, material over top of that, but that is the Asdale composite paneling, which is far superior, it's lighter weight, it's an insulation property, and it does not absorb water like Luon. So as with any company, you need a place for research and development. And this area is dedicated to that so that they're able to go ahead and continue to improve upon the products that they currently carry as well as bringing you new uh, products. And of course, this is more of their research and development area. As you can see right now, they're working on the Avia. Now one might ask, well, you know, how do they get parts from one end to the other? Well, they got a couple of different ways that they can get parts from one end to the other. One, they have these bikes here. Cool thing with these bikes is they got a little battery pack on them. Some of them might have the manual type horn, as you can see, but they also have a battery operated horn. So they have, that way there, if there's uh, people in the way, at least they can let them know they're coming. Of course, they do have the golf carts, as you can see. They get a few of those riding around through here, but for the most part, I've been watching a few of them uh, driving these bikes around here. It's pretty cool. So I just want to give you a kind of a feel for what it looks like down the aisles. As you can see how wide the aisles are, this is where they have their, their um, wood products. So a little bit larger pieces down through here, so it's a little bit wider than uh, some of the other aisles. So now they're able to take these wood products here, and you can see now this is where they make cabinets another area where they make cabinets and you can see they have planers they have all kinds of different machinery to make sure that everything that they're doing things are done in a precise manner 
This is a wood prep area. This is where they're sanding things down. As you can see, the tables that they have, they have them on, well ventilated. So currently what you see going on here, this is for tab 400s that they're putting together, wood prep area. As you can see, they have everything you need. I mean, look, look at this sander. The sander is actually for the edges. Look at how wide the sandpaper is. Those are some pretty massive sandpapers, if you ask me. Sandpaper belts, I guess you could say. But this is the rest of the woodworking area that they use. And they've got people that really know what they're doing here. Again, more computerized machinery so that to make sure that they get the results, the perfection that they do in their uh, paneling and the different cabinetry that are within their campers. This is where they're going to cut down a lot of their wood stock to, you know, for your, for things that you're not going to be seeing, make sure that they're structurally sound. So here are parts for your tab 320 and you can see how, how they have all the slats made nice and neat, nice and neat, neatly stacked, ready to go to the next station to uh, put the straps on them. This is when everything comes in and they're able to go ahead and just put things away and then take them and put them in the proper place for installation onto the units. And of course they use forklifts to move things around. We were up on that mezzanine earlier and now we're down below. As I had mentioned, this is where everything that is shipped here comes in here, then it's dispersed from this area. So here we're looking at some of the flooring and then of course the tab underbelly. This is the tab 320 underbelly that they're putting underneath of the already composite flooring. And you can see the different flooring materials that they use in their different products. All that is right here. They're able to uh, roll it out across this table and cut it accordingly. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the plant tour of New Camp RV. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. I'm actually doing a walkthrough of each of the assembly lines for the Tab 400, the Tab 320, the Tag, as well as a Cirrus truck camper. And uh, soon to come, the Avea and the Half Ton truck camper. So stay tuned for that. Appreciate you watching. For more information on any campers, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, you ask your Paul the Air Force guy. I do appreciate you watching. I'll be back with lots more soon. Take care.